in order to get the most out of your Sizzix mat board, which is six inches by 13, um, I've devised a way of cutting four sheets to, to get the, the right size to fit the various parts of the die. So for the lid and the base, which is this piece in here, I've taken two pieces of my cardstock mat board and I have made six inches by seven inches, which just gives you enough room to cut the two pieces that you need for the base and the lid top. Then in order to get these pieces from as few sheets as possible, if you take your six by 13 inch piece of mat board, you can cut the front and the back from this piece here, that's measured seven and seven inches by three and a half inches. And then the box side will come from the rest of it, six inches by three and a half. And this length here will then give you the lid size. So what you're cutting is one piece for the front and one piece for the back or sides rather. And then one piece which will give you the sides. So when you place that onto your, your die, that will be the front and the back. That will then be your sides. And then you will be able to get your lid sides out of that piece there. Obviously you'll need to cut that twice in order to get the right number of pieces. I'll put this back here again so you can see how I've actually cut that. In order to get the best use out of your patterned paper, um, I'm using 12 by 12 sheet, which I have cut into 12 inches by six inches. And from this single piece, I'm going to get enough that will actually wrap around the, the outside of the box. And then I can use the inside piece or the opposite side to actually do the same for the inside. So I'm only using one sheet of paper for the whole box. So I've cut my six by 12 into two sheets of 12 by three inches. And then I have cut this piece at six and a half inches, which leaves this at five and a half inches. And make sure you've got them the right way up. <laughs> and then when you put them on the die, you don't want these tabbed bits and pieces. So you, as long as you've actually got your piece of paper in the area of what you want you can cut that and it's the same with this one here keeping it upright and then when you've cut them you can cut the whatever tabs you've got left so that you can actually then just place that onto the sides or the front of the box as you need and i think that's the best use of the paper if you're using 12 by 12.